What are you doing, John? Isn't it obvious? Well, I don't normally ask a question if something is obvious, so no. I'm trying to create my own gifts so that I can be a social media star. I think it's pronounced GIFs. <laughs> I think you're wrong. No, I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> this is my shocked GIF. That's your, sh no, you need, it needs more. It's gotta be like, you, your hands need to be like this. Well, that's what I'm doing. No, I mean, you're sort of doing, you're kind of doing this, but you need to be doing this. Uh, no, see, I am doing it. No, no, you, you, it needs to be this. That's what I'm doing. That's no, what I'm no, doing. you're not. You're doing this. No, you need to do. It's exact. It's exactly the same. It's okay. It's okay. Not everyone can do a gif. It's gif. It's gif. 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 Hello and welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. <laughs> you might be wondering why we are dressed in these costumes. I know I am. I told, I told him we are going to make a 1980s themed music video to raise money for a charity that benefits an especially underappreciated animal. Yes, yes, I forgot. Look, oysters. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. What is the matter with you? Well, I, what did I do? I tried to eat an oyster. Well, that's why they're sitting there, isn't it? No! No, they are the underappreciated animal group that we're raising money for. Oh, I guess I just didn't realize that oysters needed to be saved from anything. Well, they do. Oh. And our song is gonna bring much needed resources to the cause of the oyster. Okay, well, I know this is important to you, clearly. Well, that's the spirit. <laughs> All right. Let's hit it. There is a time when we should hear the oyster calls Cause the tide, it seems, is coming in just fine Cause they need shells for housing in helping save their lives Oysters, they need help from us all I used to feel grossed out by the squishy part. So gross. And I now know that we shouldn't eat them. <laughs> There's that slime tells us that they're dying there. And it shows oysters, they need help, my friends. We are the shells. We are the, we are the oysters. To make a slimy day, so let's start digging. Grab a shovel and make a hole. There's a chance we're crazy. We're fighting anti oyster lies. Right. It's true, we'll make a brighter day. Just you and me. And random fun. We are the show. Okay, stop it. What? Stop it. Stop. Why? Why? Everyone Why? stop. What? 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 This is. I don't think this is working, John. What, what, what do you mean? I, mean, I tried, I did my best. This is a great song! No, it's not. Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Oysters will love this! What, what is wrong with you, man? That was worth <sighs> I don't know. It just, just feels like there's not a lot to say about oysters. What are you talking about? I mean, what do oysters do? What, what kind of sounds do they make? Is there anything remotely interesting about oysters? <sighs> what? What do you mean? Of course! What? Look at them! No. Look at them! I don't them. want to look at they, them. They're they, gross. They are so helpless and sad. How can you not feel sorry for them? Maybe it's time that we consult an expert. That's a good idea. Hmm. That's a good idea. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Come on in, come on in. Thank you. Hey, who are you and uh, what do you know? I'm Mrs. Paul and I am an expert on marine life. That's great, that's great because I have been trying to convince my friend Brandon here to understand the majesty of oysters. We're trying to raise money for their plight. Yeah, so we just have a few questions. 
All right, okay, what kind of questions? Well, uh, like for example, are there any cute ones? I mean, something that'll add a little sizzle to the show, you know? <laughs> cute. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, no. They look like a, a booger hanging on for dear life on the inside of a shell. <laughs> Now, they could add some sizzle if you cook them up, though. Ah. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. But, 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 you know, some people would say that they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't know anybody that would say that. What kind of skills or abilities do they have? Well, they're perfect for steaming. <sighs> Uh, yeah. And roasting. Ah, roasting. And you can fry them. Yeah, they're real nice when they're fried up. <laughs> Mrs. Hear that, John? Mrs. Right. Paul, I'm sure you would agree that there's much more to oysters than just eating them. Johnny, I don't know what you want me to say. People eat them. They sit and they stew in their shell all day. There's really not a lot to them. Okay, that's that's great. That's sure, sure. Great. That's great. That's great. I think that's about all the time we have for Mrs. Paul today. Thanks for coming by. My pleasure. And I don't mind if I do. Yeah, sure. Oh, don't. Well, then you just enjoy your oyster fry there, boys. <laughs> no, no, we're not trying to have an. We're, 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 never mind. Thank you, Mrs. Paul. Yes, <laughs> bye bye now. Uh huh. She's great. Expert marine biology. Well, uh, mm -hmm. You know, I don't think that went the way that you'd hoped. No. Mm -hmm. I just really wanted to help the oysters. You know what I want. Please don't say you want to eat an oyster. No, I want Bible story time with Kellen. <gasps> hey Kellen, what do we have for our Bible story today? Our story today is about a group of guys who would do anything to help their friends see Jesus. And this story will best be told by the so-and-so show players. Finally, something exciting! Oysters are exciting. A large crowd gathered into a house to see Jesus. It was just wall-to-wall -wall people. You see, Jesus had the power to heal, and the people knew it. So the crowds were pretty big anywhere that Jesus went. On this particular day, there was some guys trying to get their friend to see Jesus in hopes that Jesus would heal him. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Not doing it. Uh, oh, oh, there's a spot. Look, go through there. <laughs> no, 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 no. That crowd will never let us through. Uh-uh. There's got to be some way. Got it. All right. We use the rafters. Lower him down through the roof. Okay. Uh, what? That's that's a an awful idea. No 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 no. Nothing can go wrong. It's... Let's do it. All right, back the way we came. Oh. Here we go. I'm already. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> the friends saw that it was no use getting in to see Jesus through the crowds, so they climbed onto the roof of the house and lowered their friend on a mat into the room where Jesus was teaching. Guys, G guys, slow down, please. Okay. Whoa. Guys, please slow down. Hello. Friend, your sins are forgiven. Now that was not what everyone was expecting to hear. The man was there to be healed, but Jesus knew he needed more than that. The Pharisees who were there were angry, and they began thinking in their heads some angry thoughts about Jesus. I'm angry. Who is this fellow that says such an evil thing? Oh, well, well I am angrier because who can forgive sins but God alone? Ah. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ah. Why are you thinking these things in your heart? Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk? I want you to know, the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home.
thank you. Thank you. Jesus, thank you. This is great. The paralyzed man's friends worked together on bringing their friend to Jesus. Once there, the man had his sins forgiven by Jesus and experienced the miracle of being able to walk again. It was a perfect example of how cooperation can help others. The end. Thanks, Kellen. That's a great story and a great reminder that we can do more when we work together. Totally. Hey, how about a hand for the so-and-so show players? Hey, see you next time, Kellen. All right, take care, fellas. Okay, you know, there are times when we want to work alone, but when we work together, we can accomplish more. I, I don't know how many oysters we saved today, Brandon, but I do appreciate you working together with me when I needed your help. No, well, you do the same for me, right? N no. Reveal the question. Mm. Mm. Who do you know that needs help? Wow, okay. Uh, you know what? If you stop to think about it, you can really come up with some good examples. I have a neighbor who's been sick, and the people in our neighborhood have been taking turns helping her by bringing dinner and doing chores around her house for her. That's a good one. Yeah. Hey, what about you? Who do you know that needs help? Maybe it's a friend that needs help with schoolwork. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's a brother or sister who needs help practicing their sport. Yeah, th there are people we can help all around us. So think about it and talk about it together. And, and that's about it for today. We'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Bye. You know what? You know what? I'm wrong. I would come to your aid. I'd help you. You would? Yeah, I would. I, I don't know why I said no. I think I was just more disappointed about the oysters. Ah, uh, I see. So yeah. you would help me. So I've got. I got to go to the Ren Fair oh, today. Oh. Yeah. You want to go help me do some uh, some juggling? <sighs> yeah. 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 I love the Ren Fair. You, because you don't sound terribly enthused about it. No, that's my enthused voice. I'm enthused. Like, like if I go to a concert and I really like the song, I go, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. One okay. of those guys who swallows his excitement. <laughs>